Hey, it's Andrew from Linda's Dye Delights. I'm just uh, chilling at the store, making some videos, you know. Um, firstly, I got two new products for you, but I'm going to spice things up a little bit with the, uh, the background of the freezers and the fridges in the actual store instead of the back room with all the boxes, you know, just to give you something to look at other than my ugly mug. Uh, but moving on, we've got two new products as I said. Now here's the thing. One of our biggest sellers is the Zero Net Carb Bagels and Breads in all the different styles and flavors. But you know, there's a lot of people who just don't like it. They say that it's too chewy, it's too dry, it just isn't close enough to a real bagel. I was actually talking over email with one of my customers from New York and she said, are you kidding me? I go to H&H &H all the time and this isn't even close. And you know what? She's right. And, but, you know, it's kind of like, well, what do you expect from a zero-carb bagel, a true zero-carb bagel, independently lab-tested to verify the nutritionals? You can't really ask for too much other than, hey, it's zero carbs and it's at least edible, if not having a ton of flavor. So the baker's been hemming and hawing trying to come up with something for all the people who don't like the zero carb style of bagel and bread. And he's developed a new multigrain bagel and a multigrain bread. The base of the bagel and the bread is very similar to the zero net carb products, but he's added in just a touch of carbs via the grains used and organic sprouted grains and seeds and nuts. Yes, there's actually nuts. There's pine nuts inside of the bagels and the bread. So we're going to take a look. I've got a loaf of the plain and a loaf of the plain multigrain bagels. That's all they come in at the moment. So first off, I got a case of the bagels. This is what the cases look like if you're ever wondering. So, a little shaking is going on. I'm going to pop this open. See if we can get a look. I'm going to pull out a bagel for you to take a look at. I'm not going to split it open because you can get an idea from the bread of what the bagel looks like. It's pretty much, well, it's not the same thing, but it's real close. So the packs look just like all the other uh, HealthWise Bakery zero net car packs, same kind of label set up, six bagels per pack, nice thick bag, perfect for a freezer or a fridge, as opposed to some other brands. Um, just taking a look, reading off the label here, obviously, sugar-free, two carbs instead of zero, but still incredibly low in carbs. Um, one gram of fat, 80 calories still per bagel, and eight grams of fiber. Pretty ridiculous. All right, so here's the bagel. Just make sure we got this in the shot. Looks very similar to the zero carb, but as you can definitely tell, much more multigrain feeling. Take a look at that. You can see the seeds and the nuts just chilling in there. This one's looking a little wrinkly on top since I just came from the freezer place with this, so hasn't exactly had time to defrost. And next we've got the bread. Again, the bread looks very similar to the other one. It's a little bit darker just because of the way it bakes and because of the, uh, the grains and the seeds that are on it. I'm going to slide this out to get a good look at this multigrain. Don't worry, I'm not selling this one. <laughs> it's coming home with me. Um, take a look. You can just see all the grains on the top there. He likes to throw a little bit of the um, fiber chips on top. And whoop, as we open it up, take a look. You can see actually the pine nuts right in there and the seeds as well. <laughs> Falling all over my computer. Um, but the consistency is, is similar to the zero carb. It's got a little bit more of the weight to it. Even as I squeeze it, you can see. Um, but the nice thing is it is pretty close to like a consistency, softness at least, of a, of a traditional 
traditional bread. So that's it. New bread. New bagels. Same quality. Same independent lab testing. Same low calories, low carbs. Two carbs, like I mentioned, definitely worth trying out. I'm looking for lots of feedback on them um, since this is a new item. And if you like it, good. We'll see if we can do flavors, although I don't think that'll really work with all the seeds and the grains and the, all that kind of stuff. But that's it. Thanks for watching.